Hi guys, welcome back and today we're going to talk about the best vaccination protocol in the UAE. First of all, it's very important that farmers or producers have a solid vaccination protocol in place and that it be followed very carefully. By having a good vaccination protocol in place within your farming operation, you allow yourself to create uh, immunity within your flock against various deadly diseases. As many farmers know, uh, it is not always a given that you prevent all diseases, but by following um, a clockwork vaccination protocol, you enable yourself to reduce the risk of disease affecting your flock and spreading throughout the rest of your flock. So here in the UAE, we find ourselves uh, needing to vaccinate for uh, various uh, diseases that are present. Uh, for the most part, um, you're looking at uh, increased uh, vulnerability during the winter because of the presence of pastorella. Pastorella, for the most part, is uh, very detrimental to your flock. Uh, it decreases the um, overall health of your animals and then um, also uh, your animal's uh, production capability uh, just deteriorates as a whole. So for instance, uh, the list of things that need to be covered uh, within your vaccine uh, protocol is uh, sheep pox, a one in eight clostridial, um, a cautious lymphadenitis vaccine um, to eliminate chances of cheesy gland. You should have a vaccine in place for brucellosis. So next up, you would also have a foot and mouth disease um, vaccine and a, a PPR vaccine, followed by a one in two way pastorosis vaccine. Now, these are the lists of um, vaccinations uh, you need to have within your vaccination protocol and essentially the diseases um, that they would uh, build immunity within your flock against. Depending on your breeding system that you have in place uh, and whether you're breeding uh, continuously uh, for accelerated lambing or you are doing seasonal breeding, it's important that you incorporate your vaccine protocol properly and uh, administer those vaccines at the correct time. So by consulting with your veterinarian, they can essentially guide you to uh, formulate when the intervals would be between each vaccine and whether you can administer uh, some of these vaccines at, um, at the same time or what the period of time must be between each uh, administration of the vaccine. So here in the UAE, we normally uh, use a one in eight or in our case, a one in 10 uh, clostridial vaccine. We normally use Barvac 10. It covers uh, all the clostridials on our side um, and as well the other related diseases that would be um, expected of a one in eight or one in 10 clostridial vaccine. So when it comes to sheep pox, we normally use Poxvax. Uh, this is our freeze dried uh, Poxvax over here. And then you have your dilutant uh, that you would mix accordingly and administer to your animals accordingly. And following uh, for PPR, we have Pestivac. And this is essentially uh, mixed with the uh, solvent that it's accompanied by and we then also administer for our animals accordingly. It's normally a annual uh, booster shot. So once every 12 months. So next up, we have our uh, FMD vaccine administered at a six month uh, interval, um, but only when uh, necessary or cases of FMD arise. So essentially, Barvac 10 would, uh, of course, cover our um, immunity against uh, pastorella in this area as well. Um, the vaccine would be administered 
to use uh, four weeks before giving birth and uh, they would then either carry over immunity to their lambs and for um, safety measures we would re-administer at 21 to 30 days uh, for the lambs after birth. Um, when it comes to PPR, the same as pox, it's an annual uh, vaccine that should be administered to your flock. So for the most part, if you um, follow these uh, vaccines and uh, vaccinate against the local diseases here in the UAE, you essentially enable yourself to um, have good strong immunity against those diseases and which then overall uh, gives the producer or farmer sound of mind and uh, allow them to produce uh, optimally um, in their area. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.